Hey, according to this, I'm now live. I don't have to do. You know what? Let me turn back this way here. What's going on, guys? This is for anybody that's going to be catching the um the replay. We're just here waiting for Mr. Walshy Fire. We're, we usually catch up, but we haven't caught up for a hot minute now. So, yes, we're catching up, especially under these special circumstances with the passing of uh, Mr. DMX. We've got a lot to talk about. So, you guys just join in. Tell a friend to tell a friend to join us right here. We will be speaking to... Mr. Walsh, you fire, and I just want to say welcome one and all to everybody that's joining the live. 1122 right here. This is me, Muscle, in the building. So, right here, you know what I mean? I actually wanted to hook up my, give you guys a full experience, but for some strange reason, I can't find the iRig. So, it's all good. So, as I said, yeah. This is me here, right here, Muscle. We're waiting to catch up with Mr. Walsh Fire. We'll be talking about, you know, and catching up all things entertainment, all things life, and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? He has a lot to say. I got some stuff to say. So, tell a friend to tell a friend. This is where the conversation is going to be happening right here, right now. This Friday evening at almost 5.15, we are going to be talking to Mr. Walsh Fire sooner rather than later. I don't know. This is my first time on live in a long time. And it seems like they changed the um, fonts. It's really hard to... Is it my shirt? Or is it just the fonts, bro? <laughs> Jump Prince in the building. Big up yourself. As I said, all you guys just wait for Mr. Walsh Fire to enter the building so we could get this conversation on and popping. we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So tell a friend to tell a friend to join us right here on Two Line Music Huts live this Friday evening. We are here. Before we even start a conversation, I need to tell you guys, listen, check out entertainment report podcast on any podcast platform including youtube that's where you'll see all of our podcasts we've been putting out we have a new one coming out this sunday we have stuff that came out tuesday we got a lot of stuff going on so i need you guys if you haven't subscribed yet you yeah you you looking at me and I'm looking at you. Subscribe right now so you can see all the content we have coming up. We've got a lot of stuff that we're planning. And I want to be a lot more interactive over here on Instagram Live. I haven't done live in a long time. See what I mean? So, yeah. So, we're just waiting for Mr. Walsh. I could see you guys in, but the fonts are so boss. I don't know if they change the fonts or if I just don't remember. But these fonts look so wild right now. I mean, John Mikey won in the building all the way from California. Big up yourself, my brother. You know what I mean? Big up everybody that's passing through right now. We are just waiting for our good friend, Mr. Walsh Fire, to enter the room so we can have a great conversation. Like always, you know, we'll take some questions. And I think, I think, if I have, Mishy, big up yourself. If I have that feature where you could bring in more than one person, we'll probably test it out. We're going to test here together. I haven't tested that feature out yet, so let's test it out together. Mishy, you know when anybody calls me by my full name, Musclehead, it always, it always gets me. I always look at like, what do you know that I don't know? Because most people call me Muscle nowadays. So when somebody calls me Muscle, it's crazy. DJ Greg, big up yourself. The volcano in Vinci just erupted. Wow, that's crazy. I seen that it was um erupting earlier, so... Yeah, our prayers and our thoughts go to everybody in St. Vincent right now because it's crazy. Boss, people, listen to me. The world is in trouble right now, boss. If it's not people dying, it's somebody getting sick or somebody trying to lock you in your house or somebody telling you don't go to work or somebody saying go home at 12 o'clock or somebody, oh man, the world is in trouble right now, boss. I'm not telling you what to do or what to believe in or what not to believe in, but I'm telling you right now, outside is serious right now, boss. You know what I mean? It's very, very serious. So you guys take care of yourself and take care of the ones you love because the way how it's going, you just never know right now what's going to happen, where it's going to happen, and with who it's going to happen. Listen, the amount of women i seen that died from lately. And I'm not talking from, well, again, I don't even know if it's from violence. Because I had about three or four female friends that died within the last, 
probably two months. It's like, yo, boss, what's going on here? It's, 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 boy, I saw. It's just serious. With Dudley, big up yourself, my brother. You know what I mean? We are just waiting for Mr. Walshy Fire to enter the building so we could get our conversation on and pop in. I think this light is kind of bright. Hold on one second. If you guys tag Walshy, tell him we're waiting so he could join us in the room right now. I'm going to turn down my light a bit because I think I'm a big kind of wash here. IJ, big up yourself, my brother. I haven't seen you in years, my G. Just here trying to adjust my light to see if that's better. I felt like kind of pale. Uh, yep. Okay, I'll work with that for right now. IJ, big up yourself. DJ Greg, big up yourself. We are in here now waiting for Mr. Walshy Fire to enter the building so we could get this conversation on and pop it. We got a lot of stuff to talk about, especially what's happening right across the globe, what's happening in the city and what's going on right across the globe. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. I'm still here, man. Still here. I see you. Just these fonts are so crazy and they're wild to read. It's hard to see them. And you know I mean, I don't know what they did. I see it says Mr. Fire has joined in. He sent the request. So let me accept this request right here. Grab him in. We are about to speak to Mr. Walshy Fire and see what's going on. You know what I mean? He always has something interesting. Interesting. Interesting to talk about. Mr. Fire. You know. Big shot. Big shot. Let me let everybody get in the room, man. Let's give me one second you, let everybody get in the room. All right. You guys get in the room right here. We're about to talk to Mr. Walsh and Fire. If you guys don't know, you'll figure out what's going on right here because there's a lot to talk about right here. So come one, come all right here, right now. Man, y'all hit that share button and let people know too, man. Yeah. I was telling them, listen. If we're going to try to use this function today, probably bring in some people in on the conversation. I never use it. Before. Oh, let's and try I... it, man. Shout out to P. Weezy. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a good one today. 1,000%. Everybody, you know I mean? please let somebody else know, man. You know what I'm saying? That we're going live. I I've never done that for a thing. You want to just try it real quick? Hit fade the future up. Let's just see if it works. The, which is this one here? Bum, bum, bum. Action Kwame, big up yourself. Bridge for life. Damn, man, I might have to run that back. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Anybody that wants to come in, we're testing. Just send a request and we'll bring you in the room right now. We're testing out the teacher right here. First time. I know it's been a little while, but we're testing. Mark Professor. Right. Just a test. Just a test. Just a test before a good thing before the good thing. You see what I'm saying? All right, you know what? I actually got two people at test here, so let's try this. You know what I mean? Yeah, if this work, there's a whole other level. Yeah. Fade the future, my brother. <laughs> you know what I'm going to DMX to start the show. Who's this yeah. guy? Who are you guys here? Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dominic. Hey, Dominic, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you too? How are you? How I'm are you excellent. Where are you, where are you from, Dominic? I'm from Newcastle. Well, I'm from Leeds in England in the UK. Nice, man. Damn, this is dope. I've never seen this before. This is fire. Four motherfuckers yeah. in the chat. <laughs> Crazy. And you, you, sir, where, what's your name, sir? What's up, y'all? I'm DJ Fade. I'm from Jersey. Yeah, All right. young DJ Jersey Fade. bull, man. You know what I'm saying? Fade, you I, guys I, got I, Fade I, was supposed to, I was supposed to call you yesterday. I apologize, man. Nah, that's all good. I know you, you're busy, bro. Yeah, let's, let me see if I, when I get off this, if I can give you a call. I'm really interested in that thing you were talking about. Yeah, man. But, uh, man. Yeah, we, we got to give respect to X, man. Fully. For real. Fully. I, Definitely. Every, the I whole world to... is hurt right now. But seeing all these videos and memories and interviews is showing the positive that he brought to the world. And it's, it's, it's a reminder to really 
Because, Walsh, you know, I always hit you up, and I give you respect to how much you mean to me, as not right. only as a musician, but as a person. I think that's very yeah. important that we tell our loved ones how we feel. Mm -hmm. I agree. And, you know, what happens is a lot of the time, a lot of the time we let a lot of stuff that's bothering us fester, and we let a lot of things um, become the way that we interact with certain people and we never really heal from it. We never really go forward and try to reconcile a lot of these things and people think for some reason that we've got forever and that we will always be able to one day make something right. That's not the yeah. case. That's yeah. not the case at all. We only got a few moments here, man. This isn't even a life. This is just a death. As soon as you're born, you just you just moving towards dying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and also, that's too, it. I want to ask you a question uh, for What's people up? that for people that's on the live right now. Walsh, yeah, I know you have lost a tremendous amount of people that hold very dearly to you in your a life lot. recently. Like, I I want you to really give some inspiration for people that's really hurt from this and how you have dealt and overcome those situations. I got you. That's what today's all about. 1,000%. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do today, my brother. 1,000%. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, 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 Muscle, let's get to it, man. Yo, at the end of the show, at the end of the we'll conversation, we'll, we'll let people back in. Yeah, with questions and okay. stuff like that. So then this, this, is, this is the funny part here. I know how to get them in, but I don't know how to get... Okay. I think they maybe they got to get themselves out there. <laughs> what, yeah. if, what if they refuse to? I refuse to go. What, are we stuck with them? <laughs> nah, it got to be a way that you can get people out. <laughs> All right, you guys hang up, and then if anything, we'll bring you guys back in. Yeah, I have exactly. to we'll leave. Cheers. Bye. Cheers, Leeds. Thank you, gentlemen. Leeds got All the right. big shout-out from the group chat, too, man. Shout-out to Leeds. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Leeds is United figuring out how... Big game tomorrow against Manchester City, so big up, big up Leeds United. Big up Leeds, man. Go all the way, my bro. I don't, I don't follow the game, but definitely big up. Just follow it. Catch you later, guys. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yeah, man. All big right. up. Thank you. Have a great one. Watch yes, well, brother. Okay. Man. Well, that works. We, we see that that works. That's what we're talking about today. So here it 100%. is, man. Yes. Let's you just get I mean? to it. First all right. of all, before we do anything else, you see, we start the show with DMX music. You see that we have people already talking about DMX and how it's affecting them. <coughs> I love how my boy Fade said, Walsh, man, you've lost lots of friends. If you guys go to my Instagram, <coughs> you'll see that I have a circle. You know those circles? I don't know what they're called. Highlights. Um, the highlights, and I have one of just the people that I've lost. It's That's just insane. the people that I know personally, and it's like yeah. 40 people. From, from my sister, my brother, to cousins, uh, and down to, to very good uh, and best friends. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm here. But I want to let everybody know, DMX and his passing is one of those moments where we really got to look at ourselves and look at our community. DMX sure. is gone way too long. He died at 50 years old. All of us are not that far away from 50 years old. Not at all, bro. None of us are far away from 50 years old. If you're 25, you're not far away from 50 years old. He died at 50 years old. And let's say that the reports are right, that he died about an overdose. Mm -hmm. Do y'all understand that at 50 years old, those people that you see outside on the corner at the gas station, begging, doing drugs, most of them are the same age. Crazy. Crazy. Yo, these is the yo crack is not an elderly issue. It never was. That shit is a older brother, older sister, older cousin, mama, daddy drug, man. Mm -hmm. and, in the, and the fact is that he died at 50. Like, let's say 49. Does that make it hit home more when you hear the word 40? Let's say he died at 49 years old. 
from a drug overdose. What we have here is a situation where we really have to start to look at ourselves and look at our community. And I'm not saying it like this is the first time for me. As Muscle knows, we do this. We talk about this. We go on and on and on and on and on about the stuff that hits our community. But hopefully, this DMX one is one that we can have an honest and real conversation. Now, the first thing I'd like to do in this honest and real conversation is ask everybody, yo, tell everybody, please, get in this chat. I'm going to say some offensive things. I'm going to push some hot buttons. I don't care if you record. We got to speak. It's got to happen. To tell, tell a friend to tell a friend that tell a this friend is for the tell a friend. that we're on right here. Tell a friend for tell a friend. Yeah. Now, my well, question. Tell, yeah, go ahead. Okay, this is what I'll tell you. Well, <coughs> well, that's not going too far. Mm -hmm. this, I find that within the last year, we've been having a lot more honest conversations where it comes to health, mm -hmm. mental health, substance abuse, drugs, alcohol, and everything. Because I think everybody's had time to really sit down and reflect. Because at one time, remember, even if this is the case, a lot of circles like to keep things like this hush hush we don't hush. speak about that's what we're talking about today is that nobody want to talk about crack mm -hmm. nobody want to talk about crack how is how is yo shout out to grime mode me and him grew up in the same neighborhood no one mm -hmm. want to talk about their older sister or brother on crack yeah yeah nobody want to talk really about their mama on crack rock my older sister was a crackhead she died a crackhead. My older sister, Marilyn, if you go on my Instagram page, you'll see a picture of her. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Nikki Muhammad Walsh was a crackhead. And she yeah. died a crackhead. She died at 49 years old. That's crazy. That's I understand what you mean now. You know what I mean? This is not something that we need to act like drug abuse is this thing that's like way far away from us. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Drug abuse is not something that's like, you know, we see it every single day in our community. But we hide it under the... We, but we don't talk it about it. It doesn't happen in my backyard, even though I see it happening in my, my backyard, but it doesn't happen there. Hopefully it happens somewhere else. And, but that's what I mean. Within the last year, conversations, people have to have been reflecting since they had so much time down when they see that. There's a lot of... We have a lot of issues. There's a lot of stuff we want to talk about and people are ready to talk right now. Yo, we walk past, we walk past the people who are doing drugs every single day. Mm -hmm. And we, 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 we act like we're not a part of the same community. We know personally people in our family doing something mm -hmm. every single day that is a detriment. Alcohol, a drug. Mm -hmm. Cigarettes, a drug. Every single day. Mm -hmm. And we do nothing to those people, those people that we love, and say, yo, I love you too fucking much. Yo, Blacks, I didn't even get to rap music yet. I did not even get to it. Give me a second. Talking about Because not only do we ignore it, it <laughs> we glorify. And anybody who don't agree with me about that word glorify, <laughs> There'll be, a, there'll be a moment at the end of this conversation where you could chime in and okay, catch this fade. How about this then? When you say glorify, exactly what do you mean by that? I'm talking about I listen to music made by black people mm -hmm. for the consumption of the world. And that music directly says in almost every single song, I am going to kill another black man. I am going to sell drugs to the people in my community. I'm going to sell drugs to my neighbor, to the lady that live across the street, 
And I will say drugs to my own family members. Now, I'm not fuck. saying, I'm not saying that I'm a saint. Please don't anybody think that. I've lived and I've learned and now I'm here with the last couple of years, me and Muscle been doing this with knowledge to say, like we always say, this is not the first time that we are challenging rap. But I am saying, we have to understand that at some point, we have to know what is happening. And I'm not saying the rappers are not doing it. Rappers might be actually selling crack to their aunt and to their cousin and to their neighbor. What I am saying is, when do we decide that that shit don't fly in our community? When when is enough is enough in general? When is that enough is enough? in my house, so I don't have to talk about it. Or if it does happen in my house, I don't speak about it. When is enough is enough? When is it that everybody sees the trap house on their block mm -hmm. and everybody's scared to approach the people <coughs> with the trap house and say, not in my community, not going to happen? Mm -hmm. When do we get the courage to say enough is enough? Because what happens is that stray bullet. Everybody in the chat, if you know somebody that has died from a stray bullet, put a heart emoji in the chat. If you know anybody that's been hit from a stray bullet, a bullet, they're in their home, they're walking down the street, they had nothing to do with nothing. They just got hit. It's a war going on outside, man. And we got too many people who are being silent about this war outside. Mm -hmm. Let's give a little history. Crack comes into the community in the 80s. I don't know if you guys know this, but crack does not kill people immediately. Yeah. Crack is so a good. long, long, long death. Mm -hmm. People usually die from alcohol quicker than they'll die from crack. Crack is a long death. It's a long-term one. You're going to smoke crack for 30 years, 40 years, for sure. But it's, but it's killing your insides, bro. It but it's killing your, you, your and spirit. the things that you're doing yeah. to smoke it is killing the community. So here we are. We're in the 80s. Everybody that's a little bit older that remembers the 80s, you remember. Crack gets introduced to the community. When crack gets introduced to the community, nobody knew there was going to be such a thing as a crackhead. Everyone smoked it mm -hmm. because no one knew what it was going to do to them. You, that you understand, boss. You get it. Bro. Please remember, folks, there was a time when there was no crackhead. And that was a, probably a moment of turn up and parties that were crazy. DMX himself tells you about the first time that older dude put that crack in the weed. He was 14 years old. Crazy. Crazy, boss. Crazy. He was 14 years old. In New York, they call him woos. In Miami, we call it boom. Smoking boom is yeah. something that I used to see my friends do in junior high school. Yes, exactly. Coach Carmina, big up. How we got yeah. introduced to the community, a whole other travesty that no one has been put on trial for and should be. But here we are. 80s comes along. Crack gets introduced. People start smoking it. They do not know the addictive power. One by one, you start seeing people begin to do things for this drug. They're functional, crack, their they're, functional, they're functional crack smokers for a few years. They still get up. They still go to work. They still take care of their kids. But at some point, the crack begins to overtake whatever it is that they were doing in their life. The crack begins to take over their job. Their crack begins to take over their kids and their responsibilities. They no longer begin to take care of their kids. We then begin to have a foster care um, uh, system in America. Tens of thousands of kids that are a result of crack parents begin to get into this system.
crazy. The nineties comes now. It's chaos. K fucking us. Early nineties, late eighties was chaos. Ask anybody that was around. I was alive and very aware of what crack was doing to my neighborhood in Carroll City. It was chaos. Everyone killing everyone. Everyone killing everyone. Everyone killing everyone. Everyone robbing everybody. Everybody was going crazy. If you were a drug dealer, you most likely got murdered. If you were a crack smoker, you most likely got murdered. Everyone was killing everybody. It's crazy how many people were murdering each other to get either a hit or to get a sale. We then get into the mid-90s, late-90s. Everybody's very aware of crack now. Everybody's very aware of crack. Everybody's very quickly aware in the mid-90s of what crack is going to do. And this is the beginning of the ignoring. This is where you get the teenagers who are ashamed that their mom smokes crack, who are ashamed that their daddy smoked crack, and they are not trying to heal them. They're trying to get away from it. And there's no program. There's no, there's no systematic help. There's no... All you got is this old Nancy Reagan slogan saying, don't, don't do drugs. But there is no stopping of this momentum now. Now we've got a landslide. Now we've got an avalanche. Murder is going crazy. But everybody begins to ignore it. The crackhead becomes the crackhead. I am no longer a part of the community. I am now, I'm now a crackhead. And the community walks past me every single day. They see me every single day. They make fun of me. They beat me up. They piss on me. They make, they make crackheads do dumb shit for fun. Or they make them do crackhead shit for, for sexual. They make them go crazy Bruh. with sexual stuff. Crack babies. A lot of people that are in this chat that were born in the 90s are crack babies. In the late 80s, crack babies. And you begin to, to, to get yourself away from it because you're like, damn, this crack shit is going to fuck the community up. I mean, I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? So everybody begins to ignore it. And this is where I think we begin to look at somebody like a DMX who, whatever drug he was on, he talks about smoking crack at 14, but whatever drugs he began to be on, mm -hmm. nobody seems to really, 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 really have been like, yo, let's address this. He did interview after interview after interview after interview, and you never really saw somebody say, yo, let's talk about your, your, this drug issue. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you, cause if you know anybody yeah. here, if you know a crackhead, they all act the same. A crackhead yeah. is the most obvious. They, when somebody is on a drug, mm -hmm. I mean, like I'm in the EDM world and I can tell when a kid is on pills. Mm -hmm. I can tell when somebody's on pills. They're grinding their teeth. Their eyes are rolling like this. They're doing dumb shit. And, I wanna, and I'm saying to myself, yo, I, I hope that that person has friends and loved ones and people in their community that are going to put them to the side and say, bro, you got to do better and we're going to help you get better. So I'm not blaming anybody around DMX. I am saying I and the entire community have been very guilty of ignoring these issues. But you have to remember, we're coming from a place where especially black people like to hide everything. Everything Yo, is hidden. That shout out to all the white people in the hurt. chat. You know For I mean? all the white people in the chat, I say this every single time. I do not know y'all. I do not know anything about white people's culture. I don't know nothing about white people, what they do at night. I don't know what you wake up and do. 
I don't know what your, your park life is like. I don't know shit about white people outside of the festivals and the shows I've been.